Hi, I'm Ella Maya Tailfeathers. I'm the co-writer and co-director of The Body Remembers When the World Broke Open. And let's take a first look. Do you know that guy? It's my boyfriend. Come on, honey. Let's move a little faster, okay? He's not usually like that. He doesn't even mean it mostly. He can be good too. You're a long ways from home then. I told you I don't want any cops. I would just feel better if we could call someone, you know? Call someone who knows about this kind of stuff. It's a lot, hey? Being a mom. So you got anybody looking out for you, Rosie? I look out for myself. And the baby? You think you're better than me? You're not better than me. I'm gonna protect him. No one's taking my baby. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Then what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to help. So The Body Remembers When the World Broke Open is about two indigenous women from vastly different lived experiences um, who find each other in uh, in a very troubling situation, and you spend uh, a couple of hours with these women as they navigate through this through this challenge. Well, the film is inspired by an experience that I had um, in the same neighborhood that the film was shot in. Um, I encountered a young indigenous woman who was standing in the rain, uh, barefoot and very pregnant, and she just fled her boyfriend who just assaulted her. Um, and she didn't want to go to the hospital, she didn't want to go to the police, and she didn't have anywhere safe to go, so I ended up taking her home with me. Um, and the experience had a profound impact on me. Um, and I felt that I needed to honor her story um, and women like her through film. So after a few years of sitting with the story, I decided to, to pursue it as a feature film. So I co-wrote and co-directed with Kathleen Hepburn. And uh, yeah, Violet's our star. Like, I really love the story. Um, and how uh, this story can really help other indigenous women and just women in general to know that they're not alone and that um, they can talk to others about this, um, about like domestic violence. And um, yeah, this, this was really, I feel really grateful to be part of this project. Statistics show that domestic violence happens in every demographic. It doesn't matter your class or where you come from. Um, but women who are living in poverty or women who do not have the financial means to, to leave an abusive partner um, are often forced to stay. And then the services that are provided for women like that are so overburdened with the need um, and, and underfunded. Um, so we hope that the film raises awareness about that um, and, and um, shows how challenging it is for women women to go. It's not as simple as just leaving. It's not black and white. Almost at every single screening that we go to, uh, someone will tell us that they connect with the story on a personal level, that they've experienced something similar to what happened in the film. Um, and so that's both heartbreaking and, and profound, um, just to know that it, it's connecting with people personally, but also, yeah, heartbreaking to know that the story is so common. Uh, it's it's so wonderful to watch our film travel the world and connecting with audiences is, is so lovely. Um, and it means so much to us to know that this film about two indigenous women from Canada um, is resonating with audiences um, here in Hollywood of all places. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, we are so grateful to be here. Uh, we were just in Los Cabos. Uh like previously, and um, during the q and I was talking about how my mom went through an abusive relationship and that I witnessed it a lot, and she's no longer in that relationship, but this one, one lady, she came down and she was talking with me, and she's like, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for the film and that I also have connections like you and your mom. Her mom went through an abusive relationship, and just knowing that she came to see the film and that she has connections was... It was really not, like, it was, it was good to hear that there's others 
going through and that they're actually coming to see our film. But we're very excited to announce that um, we are being distributed through Array Releasing, which is Ava DuVernay's company. Um, so the film will be on Netflix uh, in the U.S. starting November 27th, and there will be a theatrical run in select cities across America, including Los Angeles, New York, Detroit, Honolulu. Um, oh, so many more. It's, it's really exciting. Yeah, it feels like a dream to know that someone like Ava DuVernay is champion, championing this film. Um, we put so much heart and love in, into making this film and to know that uh, a small film about two indigenous women in Canada is connecting with people all over the world um, and, and having Ava and her company um, champion the film is just beyond, uh, beyond incredible. I mean, it means so much to us, yeah. I love you so You'll always be Mommy's little